This is going to be the last video in this tutorial. Now let's go through all the things we learned so far in all the previous ones. So we learned how to set up plot frame to input all the data, the country where we are working, the language, BD Walter section. As I said, you can set basically any voltage, so it's definitely useful when you work across the globe. You can input your own, as already mentioned. The same goes for the low voltage. If you have any other voltages, you work normally. These are the standard ones. You can input your, your own, as said. This one is a nice feature, maximum cross-section or a minimum. And then our single line diagram. So we begin with inserting system in feed. Then after that are distribution boards, various kinds, also with bus bars. You can check that again in the demo project, our final circuits. Basically, any circuit you could think of, including charging unit. Dummy load is a specially useful one if you want to set a spare, like we did in our diagram. Coupling. If you also have an emergency power supply like a generator, different views, different data, operation modes of the infeed. So, if you also had an emergency power supply like we saw in the demo project, you can also set that kind of operation mode, automatic them engineering. You can turn off automatic them engineering for some other devices. You can set that also. You can lock the adjuster in our curves. Let's select the circuit like we did in this example. When it comes to motors, we have different options. So direct online or a soft starter or a frequency converter. Also, that one I didn't show you. We have a reversing. Just as an example, reversing duty. So two contactors, one for one direction and the other one for the other direction. If you choose automatic dimensioning, everything will be dimensioned for you. The protection devices, the cables, even the contactors or soft starters, frequency converters, so it's a nice one if you work with Siemens. If you don't work with Siemens, it's still a nice information. So you know that you have to use a similar one with a similar characteristics. Also useful, as I said, even when you work with other manufacturers. For example, I work a lot with Danfoss frequency converters and I find this one still useful. Our different sizes of paper, you can also, as I already shown to you, different sizes and you can set your own port frame, your DXF file.
help system. This is our tutorial about Simaris design, how do you work in this software, how this software works. I highly recommend that you go through this tutorial in addition to our. The second very useful tutorial or manual in this case is this one. They explain in this manual how Simaris calculates all the, all the values and it, it is in general a nice manual about power calculations. So I definitely also recommend this one for you to study a little bit. About our cables, as I said it's a special topic. Installation type, production factor. So there are different kinds of installation types. See is a common one in the industrial environment also if you're having a ground in earth. D2. This one is definitely common in the automotive industry where I work. So brackets. Pay attention to installation type and reduction factor is a big one. Harmonic content, you don't forget about that one if you have a frequency converters installed in your cabinet in your system ambient temperature is an important one number of parallel cables and how they are laid next to each other or all over the place or nice one like this one and so on Graphical representation of our cabinets, so the first two, the power cabinets and the bus bars in between. They stand next to each other and this is a graphical representation of a 230 uh, volts for our PLC cabinet. Just a basic overview of the situation for our cabinets. When we are done with our single line diagram, diagram, now we can plan our project output, as said. Project documentation. Paper size. You can include the symbols, so the padlock and the key, all viewers, so the current view. So different lists, device passparous cables, you get that all of those in Excel. Network diagram is a nice one in PDF or in DVG, DXF and this one is a... If you want to plan your Civacon, as already mentioned, if you want to plan your Civacon cabinets, then you use this one. You export your single line diagram and all the settings and then you import uh, this one in Simari's project and that's about it i've worked in this software for years now and i i also tried from software from for power calculations from other manufacturers other big manufacturers 
And according to my experience, this is by far the best one, the most complete one, without bugs, without any problems. There are also some more complex softwares on the market, but they are used for power analysis and for much more complex topics. If you are like me about automation engineer and you just want to see, you want to plan and dimension your cabinets and the supply cable, in that case, this is definitely really nice software. So I wish you a lot of success in working in Simaris Design and a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.